uh, hello guys and welcome to my new video so uh, now we are going to continue from the last time uh, so in last video we have designed uh, designed those two screens in Adobe XD and now we are going to uh, animate uh, the first screen and the second screen uh, will anim will be animated in the next video because uh, I wanted to split this uh, uh, this into a 10 minute video so now open the protopy and uh, we are going to select a template for our application in this case will be uh, iPhone X template because that's the size of, of our uh, uh, screen uh, just click OK and now um, that we have that uh, go to a file and we're going to uh, we're going to import those uh, those screens. Remember, the Adobe XD has to be uh, opened in order for this to work. So select first screen and here import size 3x because uh, our template iPhone X is uh, 3x size. As you can see here, I'm going to show you 375 with 3x size. Okay, so on the left side we have our on the left side we have our elements, and now we're going to set the trigger. So the first uh, trigger uh, will be start. So uh, on our application start, we're going to set our next uh, triggers or animations. So the first animation will be a move animation. Uh, as you can see, I have selected the, the meet up. Uh, text here and we're going to set the position uh, X and Y position of our element to our move uh, trigger here okay we have copied the uh, the current position of our meetup text here and uh, let's uh, create uh, or choose quint uh, animation here duration will be 0, uh, 0 0.7 and as you can see here now we we will move this element on the top and when we click play, uh, this element will go down on the its previous position, which we uh, set it, set it up uh, just um, a while ago. So the next uh, trigger will be scale. So we're going to scale our uh, line element, which has a size of uh, 94 uh, width and 5, uh, 5 uh, dp uh, height. And we're going to scale uh, our line from 0 to its uh, current uh, current uh, uh, width and height so we're going to set the startup uh, delay as well and now uh, we need to do something about this line so as you can see here we need to copy those uh, elements and set it up on uh, on our trigger okay and uh, we need to set this origin to the center so uh, what it, what does this mean? Uh, it means that uh, our uh, our line will start to grow from the center of the of the element and not from the left to right. So okay, we have set it up here, and now uh, we're going to copy those uh, those values uh, from. Okay. As you can see, it works very fine. Uh, the next thing, uh, we're going to set opacity for our uh, subtext. Uh, we will say uh, duration to 0 0.7 and delay to 0 0.7 as well. And we'll set opacity uh, to our uh, start opacity to 0 and uh, animation opacity to 100. Okay, uh, it should look uh, fine. And next, uh, we're going to add two moves for a register and for a login button. So th this is gonna be a very interesting animation here. So uh, our login, uh, I'll select the login button here and copy its position, X and Y position, and I'll uh, paste those two values in uh, our move. Uh, move uh, animation here and I will do the same for register button just copy X and Y position and paste them here 
Okay, and after that, we're going to set, uh, we're going to move those two elements, login on the right, on the left, and register button on the right here. And when we uh, start our animation, those two elements will come to their origin positions, original positions. Okay, so for those two move uh, animations, we will set uh, uh, circ animation and duration to 0.7 and start delay to 0.7 as well. So do the same for the second move. Okay, and now it should look something like that. It's pretty beautiful animation as you can see here. This is our welcome screen and it, lo it looks very fine. Okay, uh, next what we're going to do, we're going to add the new trigger. This trigger will be uh, tap, so when we tap on our login button, uh, we'll connect this tap to our login button, of course, and uh, we're going to add a uh, few, uh, few elements, like uh, in, in the first animation, so two moves for our login and register button. And we're going to move those two buttons um, to our cur to its current position, which is uh, out of the screen. So copy those values, x and y values, to the move uh, uh, box here. Okay, x and y. Uh, okay, I forgot uh, x is uh, y is not a minus twenty seven. Uh, I need to click a group element here and now I, I need to copy to copy the values okay now let's redo this again okay we have that so uh, let's do the same for the register button just copy the position X and Y to the move uh, move trigger here okay and now uh, we can set the uh, duration to 0.3 maybe, we'll see. And as you can see, when we click login, those two elements disappear the way they appeared at the first time. So the, this is kind of uh, simulating uh, explosion uh, animation. So next uh, we're going to add uh, one more uh, or few more. Uh, triggers here in our tab. The next will be opacity. So we're going to change opacity to from 100 to 0 and duration will set uh, 0 0.3 Okay, we just need to type here uh, type 0 value so it can uh, apply it The yellow indicator here is showing you that you need to enter the value so as you can see we have added that and now it disappeared uh, next it's scale so it's for our uh, line and we're going to set uh, 0 and 0 because the line will disappear again and duration to 0 0.3 of course now when we click login it will uh, disappear slowly which is amazing and next uh, one more thing to move our uh, meet up text to move it from the screen and of course we will copy x and y values from its current position which is of course uh, off the screen and as you can see it disappeared very well and the final uh, step we need to take here uh, we need to add jump uh, this what it what this does it it moves uh, to a second uh, screen so first we need to create a new scene here and uh, in this scene, in the second scene, we're going to import uh, our second screen. Okay, just click import. And on the top of this, uh, on our environment here, we have c uh, screen 1 and screen 2. So now in screen 1, uh, we're going to uh, jump to the, sec uh, to the second screen. Uh, translation animation will be, let's say, uh, slide out. We can say right to left, let's see how this uh, will look like. Okay, I forgot to add a delay here on our jump, so I will set delay to 0.5 here. And when, when, when I click uh, login, it will wait a little bit and then it will switch to the second screen. 
Okay, one more time. I think I should change the uh, tr translation uh, animation from uh, right to left to uh, bottom to top. From bottom to top. Okay, let's try now. And it looks uh, much better, I think. It's just my personal opinion. So, uh, uh, that was it for uh, this uh, video. Uh, in, the sec in the next video, uh, we're going to create uh, animation or prototype for our second screen. I have uh, split this up because um, uh, it will be too much for one video. It, will, it would took uh, maybe more than 20 minutes and it's too much for one video. Uh, please guys uh, like this video if you uh, if you find it helpful and of course subscribe to my channel if you like the content I am providing to you uh, There will be at least uh, one video uh, in a week, maybe two uh, So that was it. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, see you in the next video